Hey guys, so this is That Texas Witch coming at ya. All right, so hop onto your broom, grab your butterbeer, and let's go for a magical video ride. Um, so to just to kind of explain where this video is going. All right, so I have a lot of stuff. I mean, not like Cherry Wallace kind of stuff, but a lot of stuff that's related to Harry Potter. All right, and it's just kind of like accumulated over the last few years, I would say, since I've gotten like a big girl job. Um, and since my husband's gotten, you know, the big boy job as well. Um, and we don't have kids. And so it's kind of like, oh, well, what do we spend our money on? Well, we could be like good adults and like save it. Um, no, I'm going to spend it on Harry Potter stuff. That's kind of where my life has come to at this point. And I was like, I don't want to just keep it to myself because I watch a ton of Harry Potter YouTube. So, so much Harry Potter YouTube. My favorite YouTuber, by the way, Cherry Wallace. Go check her out. She is amazing. She's my favorite. Um, I just love her video so much. So definitely go check her out. Um, and um, she's kind of one of the people that inspired me to start doing this. So I have a lot of stuff. So you've, you basically, I'm the queen of stuff. That's what I'm going to see down in the comments. So let me just go ahead and explain what we're going to start with now. Um, so I have this blank wall, as you can see behind me. Okay. And I also subscribe to, um, Geek Gear. Okay. That's one, I started subscribing, subscribing to Geek Gear because, again, watching Cherry Wallace, um, and that was my favorite box that she always unboxed, and um, just watching other ones. It was just my favorite. Not saying that I don't like other ones. Not saying that. I just can only afford to, you know, be subscribed or have a sus subscription to one box only, and that was just the one that I chose. That being said, I've done it for almost a year, and I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, so... The first thing, again, blank wall behind you. I got on Amazon the other day, one of my favorite things to do, um, again, buying Harry Potter stuff, and I bought these pins because I did buy some frames, but those get really expensive, and I'm a baller on a budget sometimes, and so I thought if I have a lot of things that have to be hung up on this wall, um, I don't want to have to buy frames for all of them. And, you know, sometimes you can make a really cool collage, especially with some of the things that Geek Gear gives, that putting them in frames doesn't really make sense. So, that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you guys, before I even put them on the wall, um, what I have right now. Um, I can't remember when I started <sighs> Geek Gear. I can't remember. But that being said, I have, like... A ton of things so I have all of these um, plus I have some things right here and I also have um, two things that are in frames these are my my two favorite that I've gotten and so I wanted them in frames but I don't like the frame so I'm gonna take them out of the frames all right so let's just start with um, the licensed exclusive art that Geek Gear puts in its boxes um, I would have to say out of all of the artwork this is probably not my favorite only because I'm 24 um, and so some of it's not necessarily my style or my aesthetic I guess I should say but I'm also still kind of a kid hence the you know stuffed animal that you see over there but it has sentimental value I can't remember what the sentimental value is but I can't throw it away either because what if it was something super super important and I throw it away and then that family member comes back to me and says hey what happened to that stuffed animal that's where I'm at in my life. Anyway. Okay. So the first thing that I have here is a Chudley Cannons um, flag. Is that what they're called? Flag? I feel like they have another pendant. Pendant? Yeah. I've actually never even opened it. So um, I definitely love this and have been just waiting to hang this up. All right, so as you can see, it says Chudley Cannons. Um, it is bright orange and has the maroon red over to the side. I just think this is such good um, quality content right here. 
um, to put in a box. I just love this. Um, anyway, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I love it. All right. I also have um, this right here. And it says, you have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. So I actually do kind of like this one. I'm a fan of the darker um, aesthetic. Um, I also kind of like the pastels. I'm pretty girly, um, but I'm also pretty dark. <laughs> anyway, all right. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. Um, I do like this one. Again, like I said, uh, it's not my favorite, but... I think it would be really cool to put these in kind of like a collage on the wall. All right, so the next one that I have, I actually really, really like this one. I think this might be one of my favorite ones that they've um, ever like exclusively done. And it says, official contestant of the Triwizard Tournament, uh, Bobatons. Okay, um, so I really like this one. I don't know if my light is like catching it. I'm really sorry if it is. Um, I can't really see what it does. Um, I think I like this one too. The Goblet of Fire. I guess I'm a fan of the fourth film exclusive fan art or not exclusive fan art. Um, licensed exclusives. All right. So that's this one. If it's the lights in the way, I'll try to put up another picture of it in front of my face. <laughs> All right. This one says the ones that love us never really leave us in here. You can't always, you can, sorry. Let it be known that I have an English bachelor's degree and I can't read. College. <laughs> the ones that love us never really leave us in here. You can always find them. <sighs> okay, that's not my fault. It's the fault of how they did it. This is how it should be read. The ones that love us never really leave us. And here, you can always find them. Okay, I didn't know that it was not supposed to be read in one consecutive thing. All right, so this is um, what this one looks like, this photo, licensed exclusive. Uh, I, I like it, I like it. Okay, this one, I don't really know how other people feel. I actually don't, I don't watch the Geek Gear um, unboxing until like after I've obviously gotten the box. Um, so I don't know what people thought of this one, but I really like it. All right, so it's a, um, a photo of, or a picture of Voldemort and Harry. Um, I love pictures like this. I I really like the aesthetic of it as well. Um, and it also has Hogwarts down at the bottom um, outline. That is so cool to me. This is probably one of my favorite ones too. All right, this one, not my favorite. And that's just because I am not a fan of the, the bright pink um, and purple on it. So this one says, love leaves its own mark. I like the saying, um, but this one's a little bit too young for me. Um, not really my aesthetic, not really something um, that I go for. Um, I really hope you can see this. All right, and then the last one is, I've seen this one everywhere um, and I actually really like it. This is one of my favorite kind of like calm down portions, but I also really just love the traditional crest, but I thought this was a nice take on them. Um, I like the pastels. Again, I like pastels. I think they're cool. Um, I really like that one. So if I guess if I had to pick my favorite out of these, probably this one closely followed by this one. I don't know why. I guess I like red. I think that's what it is. I like red. Um, my least favorite though would definitely have to be this one right here. Um, Shoot a comment if you really want it or you like it and I'll send it to you. Um, so I don't really want it and I'm probably not gonna put it up but I also don't wanna throw it away. Um, so if you're someone who um, really wants this, drop a comment and um, I'll pick someone that can have it for free, all right? No shipping, anything, just you can have it. All right, so drop a comment and let me know. All right, so now we're gonna kind of move on to um, some of the other things that I've gotten through Geek Gear. Now, these two things that I'm about to show you are absolutely beautiful fan, um, art, and I wish I would have kept the cheat sheets um, from um, Geek Gear because uh, it makes me so sad that I don't know, I don't even know what box these came out of. Um, so the first one actually came out of Cherry Wallace's box. 
loved her Christmas box, guys. And it says, Happy Christmas, Neville. I love this. Isn't this beautiful? I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it. Beautiful. It's small. It's compact. Um, it would go really lovely in a frame. Um, so definitely love this one. Definitely putting it up. Even though it says Happy Christmas. I don't even care. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. So um, the next one I, again, I don't remember what box I got it out of, but I remember when I saw it, I was just taken away. Um, and I just think this is so beautiful. And this is the Howler. All right. So it was sent in the second film, um, whenever Ron or Harry and Ron, um, used the car, um, to go to Hogwarts and obviously were seen by muggles and then ran into the Whomping Willow and, you know, Harry and Ron. All right. And then, um, there's another movie and another or another book ah uh, but i can't remember um when that howler was sent or am i just imagining things i could have swore leave a comment down below if you know all right so the last part okay so these again these are actually made by artists and i'll try to find um out who made them i'll go back to maybe other people's videos and um cite the different boxes that you can watch and stuff um, so I'll just put some other YouTubers and put the, just what the general name of the photo. And so you can see what artists, I wish I had the cheat sheets, but I don't. All right. So now let's kind of dive into these right here. All right. So this one actually came in, I think the February box, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I've moved. I literally moved last week. And um, so if it wasn't important I threw it away and so I must I don't know I threw away the cheat sheet so this right here is wizarding friends that's what it says on the back part one of four artwork by Cartwell I believe it's Cartwell and geek gear obviously so this is a picture I don't know if this is Fred or George Ooh, I'm not a true fan I don't know if it's Fred or George but um uh, my husband, I'm not gonna lie, my husband when he first saw this, he was like, that's so creepy, but I actually really like it. I think it's kind of cool, and it's definitely going up on my wall regardless of whether um, he likes it or not, because this is my office, because he doesn't need one. He works in construction, so his office is construction site. All right, um, love that one. This one, I actually don't know what's in these. I haven't opened any. Oh, I'm, I'm going to say that one. I remember that one. That one I just got in the new, in the, I think it was either in this one or the January box. I had some mishaps with the, with the January box getting to me. Oh yeah. So this one's definitely going up though. I haven't gotten another one since this one. So maybe I missed them all. Oh wait, I'm thinking of something differently. All right. So this one says cut Lucius Malfoy, constant vigilance. All right, Moody, um, Mad Eye Moody. Death Eaters are among us. Remember, neg 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 negligence. Got it. Costs lives. If you have any information concerning Death Eaters, please contact your nearest or office. Isn't that great? This one, it would be really kind of hard to put in a frame, at least in America. Um, I don't really know many frames that come in this. I just really, I like that. I haven't forgotten about this one. Again, we've kind of moved a lot recently. And so I haven't really gotten to put anything up. Like none of this has been put up, uh, mainly because I didn't have the space in the last apartment that we lived in. It just it just wasn't there. Um, but this one, it's here. I'm not gonna try to put that back in that small piece of paper. I don't know how I did that the first time. All right, so I have several things in this one. So let's just start with this one. This is what I was talking about earlier. I thought, this was this, and this is the proclamation. Um, so the fifth film, Umbridge. <sighs> proclamation, educational degree number 27. Any student found in possession of the magazine, the Quibbler will be expelled. I love that. Love the Quibbler. I'm really glad that this is the one I got. I think 27 is one of my, my sister's favorite numbers, so that's kind of cool too. Um, I don't know if they had other ones. Like I said, I've only been doing it for about a year. And so I might have missed um, when they sent out all the other ones. But regardless, this is super good quality. So I'm excited. 
All right, this one I remember. This one's an owl or a headwig. So look at this. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I wish I could just be an artist like these people. So this one's also by Hartwell. I got a hair. Um, so he must do a lot of the geek gear boxes. I'm gonna, not going to lie. Um, I sometimes look at the cheat sheet. Sometimes I don't. Um, only if I don't know what movie or like book it came from. Because sometimes they do movie scenes that are not in the books. So And then sometimes they do book scenes that are not in the movies. But love this. Can't wait to hang this up as well. All right. We are hearing, nearing the end. Already done that one. Oh, yeah. This one. Okay. This one just came in the newest box. If I can get it out. Maybe. Won't come out over there. Will it come out over here? There we go. All right. This is Hogwarts. And it is drawn so beautifully, so amazing. Love it. Um, whoever did this did an amazing job. Like, it's the first year, it's going up to school. Like, I mean, how could you not love that? I mean, this is beautiful. I'm assuming that it was painting, you know, because they just reprint them. But still, my even my husband, like, he doesn't really care for much of this stuff. I mean, he likes, he likes um, Harry Potter. You know, he wouldn't have gotten married if he didn't. But um, he's not like a fan of all the artwork and the Legos and everything. He says that it's a little extra, but he supports me. It's extra, but he supports me. Or he wouldn't let me buy this kind of stuff. All right, so the last two. Um, this one is by Cartwell as well. And this is, these two that I'm about to show you are my absolute favorite though. Um, the, the Hogwarts that I just showed you is going to go along with those. So this actually was with the Christmas box that they did. I really hope you can see this. I can't take it out. It's so hard to take out. Um, but um, this is at Christmas time. Um, and it's Ron and Harry. And I just think it's just shows some of the humanity in the films and make it seems more and make it makes it feel more real. Um, so I really can't wait to um, hang these up, um, up somewhere. I don't know. It's kind of Christmassy. And even though I love Christmas, I don't really know if I'll hang that one up right now, but definitely during Christmas. Now, this one came again in the Magical Curiosities by Trey Wallace during the Christmas time. And oh my gosh, guys, guys, come on. Like the quality of this is stupendous. Like it is so amazing. Um, it's the Yule Ball, like a Yule Ball po poster. Like it's just, it makes you feel like you have been invited to the Yule Ball. Um, I love it. I can't, I can't wait to hang it up. Um, so all of these are going to go on this wall behind me. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get started on that. I got, pins where do they go I got so much junk on here now Aha. I got pins and I got a bunch of stuff so um why don't I just show you the end in three two one all right hey guys okay so this is the finished project or product <laughs> it's not amazing um I am not that creative so um, this was just how I liked it and that's really all that matters. I hope that you like it um, But this is just how I kind of wanted it mainly because I need to know I'm going to be getting more through the Accio Accio through the geek gear box. So um, Yeah, so I, I told you guys that I thought this would look really great as a collage um, And I agree with that and I stand by that um, I wanted to make sure I had room to where I could keep extending over um, but as well as I can just remove that and go up or I can go um, down on the wall as well. Um, over here, um, I off-centered it from um, my picture frame, picture frame, uh, my piece of art. This is about the most creative I will ever get in my life. Um, so it says, some stories are so good we wish they would never end. And these are just a few of my um, favorite books um, that I have loved. I did this about four years ago. Um, so... I've never really painted since. This was the one time and I did it with a, a, a dear roommate that I had a while then. 
Um, I also have the owl. My thought process behind this was Hogwarts in the middle, and then you have different moments that have happened during Hogwarts that could go around it or above it. Um, and then over here, I put the proclamation, and on the other side, um, I put the Lucius Malfoy, and I thought over there could be more like the poster. Um, I haven't put up the Christmas stuff. I decided against it on this wall. It's actually gonna go on the other wall, um, but I'm gonna do that another time. Um, you're, I am going to eventually do an office tour and a bookshelves tour because um, I do have, let me show you, a whole bookcase over here um, that I'm going to put um, all, of the, all of those boxes right there hold Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of it. Some of it's unpackaged, some of it's not. Um, so um, I do have quite um, a lot of work to still do. Um, and a lot of that is as Legos as well. Um, and so I'll be um, doing some content like that um, later in the future. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you like, I hope that you comment um, and please subscribe. I want to make these videos. They are so much fun. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying them as well. Um, if you um, really liked um, these boxes, check Geek Gear out. I think they're one of the more inexpensive boxes, especially with being international. Um, the international charge is not too bad. Um, and the boxes are, fan are, in fan are fantastic, hence why I have all this. And you haven't even seen all of the other amazing stuff that they have in their boxes. I really like this. They're a bracelet that they've started going out with this year. Um, some YouTubers to go check out is, of course, I've talked about her so many times here, Cherry Wallace, I'll link her down below, um, but also the Potter Collector, if you want to know a little bit more about um, how to collect Harry Potter um, books, memorabilia, all that kind of stuff, his channel is phenomenal for that. Um, I hope you guys have a magical week, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye.